Hi everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. Follow me on Twitter for information about SQL and Ask Tom. And today is a quick tip on the KISS principle, keeping it simple with SQL. Today we're going to look at a 12C feature on the use of defaults. The most common, and in my opinion, probably worst usage of triggers is this. We've got a sequence. We've got a table. Somehow we've got to glue that sequence to the primary key on that table. So what do we do? We bang in a trigger. Every time we do an insert, we do select sequence.nextval from dual. Triggers are overrated for that kind of stuff. Why not just put it in the insert statement? Then you don't need a trigger. You just have it directly in the insert statement. And people say to me, oh, I have to use triggers. Yes, I follow Brins Wellens blog avidly and I've read his YPL SQL paper and I 100% agree. And in a perfect world, I would take every single one of my insert statements and I'd have a really strict procedural control layer in front of them. But where I work, everyone's cowboys. We don't get that control. There's insert statements everywhere, in all sorts of layers, all over the shop. It's a giant mess. So I have to use triggers. Anyway, what harm could it do? Well, let's look at a demo to see what the cost is of having those triggers. So here's our demo. We'll create the sequence, we'll give it a nice healthy case size, and we'll create our table. Here's our trigger. I've used the shorthand syntax here to assign our sequence value, but that's equivalent to select next valve from Joule. Now, let's turn timing on, and let's insert 200,000 rows. Let's see how long it takes. 6.5 seconds, not too bad. Now you're probably saying, hey, that still looks pretty good to me, that's pretty fast. Let's have a look at what it could be. In 12C, sequences can be part of the default definition. Here's my table, create table T, primary key defaults to sequence not next valve. Now I just don't reference the primary key at all in my insert statements and it gets assigned with the default. Or I can use the default keyword, and once again, the primary key is assigned the default sequence value without having a trigger. Now let's redo our demo. So let's see what we can do. We do the exact same task before. We've dropped the tables, so we recreate the sequence, recreate the table, this time using the new default syntax. We turn timing on. Now let's do our insert again. 200,000 rows. It's done. 0.9 seconds. Oh. My. Goodness. It is ridiculous how fast the Oracle database can stuff data into a table when you give it a chance. It's incredibly quick. Now you're probably thinking, even with the triggers, it's fast enough for me. I don't need hundreds of thousands of rows to be jammed in per second. It's good enough for me with the triggers. But what is a trigger? A trigger is code. And when you've got code, what have you got? You've got source code control. When you've got source code control, you've got change approval meetings to go to, to get that stuff promoted. You've got managers to deal with. Do you really want to be spending your developer years just dealing with all that red tape? We all know the best code is no code. And that's what the 12C defaults let you have. No trigger code, none of that red tape overhead. In 12C, use the defaults. It's going to be fantastic for performance and less effort for you. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget, to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.